Does having small talk feel stressful to you? If you're like me, a little bit introverted, then the thought about having small talk can feel really excruciating. But I've learned a few tricks over the years to ease my discomfort about casual chit-chat. Not only have I grown to enjoy these encounters, but I also have learned to coax other introverts into lively conversations. In this video, I'm going to share with you three tips that have helped me to master small talk as an introvert. One, extinguishing guilt. Introverts often feel like they are bothering someone by starting up a conversation. You hesitate to introduce yourself because you're worried about annoying or boring others. This can easily cripple your confidence. But the thing is, more often than not, this kind of guilt is completely imaginary. Let's just say you're at an event. You see someone standing alone in the corner. So what are they thinking about? How do you think they are feeling? Introverts tend to assume they are the only nervous, awkward, or inexperienced people in the room. To you, that person in the corner may seem confident and intimidating, but put yourself in their shoes for just a second. Would you be standing in a corner if you felt confident? No, you'd probably be feeling worried or restless. You might be hoping someone would make an effort to come by and start a conversation. You can be that person for them. Chances are they are here to meet new people just like you. So don't feel like you're forcing them into anything. Number two, honing objectives. Before you start a conversation, figure out why it matters to you. Decide what you'd like to get out of it. Do you want to make a good first impression? Maybe you just want to work up the courage to say hello. It really doesn't matter what objective you choose, as long as it gives you a reason to start a conversation and know what you're working towards. Objectives can help you plan out exactly how you'll get there, as well as provide you with conversation topics and questions that you can use to create meaningful small talk. Number three, redirecting anxiety. It's common for introverts to get anxious anytime that small talk is on the table. You worry about messing up. You're hyper aware of every potentially stupid thing that you'll do or say. How can we keep our small talk anxiety under control? Well, the key is to stop focusing on how or when you'll potentially say something wrong and direct all your focus onto the other person by practicing active listening. Ask questions with the intention to really get to know a person, not just for the sake of it. Trust me, people can easily tell when you're not interested, not listening or not focusing. On the flip side, people can sense it when you're giving them your undivided attention. When they do, they'll be more engaged and probably keener to come up with questions to help you both create a fruitful conversation. Quite often, we introverts run away from small talk because we catastrophize every conversation before it even starts. We tend to picture the worst case scenarios. However, these exaggerated scenarios are unrealistic. You rarely realize how unlikely they are since you don't stop to think about them logically. Your emotions are controlling your thoughts and behavior. So before you start imagining the worst case scenario regarding small talk situations, you can think about what if the worst happens and then remind yourself that those imaginary catastrophes rarely happen, if ever.